Hello, Robert. Hello, Luke. Thank you so much for the challenge to build something. The objective was to generate enough electricity to light a LED. Well, I barely accomplished this. So my idea was to build a small test stand that will make use of a pendulum, gravity, permanent magnets, and inductors. As a driver, I chose an uh, electromagnet with a neodymium magnet for the purpose of magnetic amplification. My main thought for this experiment was the use of potential energy, which gets somewhat recovered when a pendulum swings upward on the opposite side of its axis. And here's a diagram of the pendulum with the electrical setup. The inductors I used were from an old photocopier. On one of them, I had to remove the metal housing so that four neodymium magnets on a piston, there's the piston going in and out, so that they would not get stuck on the housing. The rather loosely wound coil we covered from that housing is now held in place with green tape around a plastic tube. There's the green one. This green generating inductor is just producing a mere 200 millivolt AC. That is 1300 millivolts short of the 1500 millivolts DC required for my red LED to fire. There's a little LED. In the hopes to boost the voltage, I built a voltage multiplier which takes a long time to charge up the voltage multiplier. I have seen the LED turn on twice, but the output voltage is, some, is uh, mostly stuck on 1.1 volts. I had also connected a flyback transformer to the green coil but it slowed almost stopped the pendulum. No light though. I think this concept has potential for more, much more output. It could very well be hand powered and I only have to think of a swing set which does not take too much of my energy when I push. So the uh, pendulum could be maintained easily. To meet the contest objective, I have built a three cell potato battery like this. And um, right now it's not lit up and it's too bright here anyway. So I, a little bit earlier I took a picture and there you can see that the LED is lit up. To finish the presentation of this experiment, I will con connect my LED one more time to the voltage multi multiplier and uh, see if it does us the favor to come on this time. Turn away the light. Swallow it with my hand. And Close the circuit. It lit! Wow! Great Scott! It worked for me! Finally, I built something that works! Haha! <laughs> Great! Well, greetings from Canada with a Canada goose!